beautiful diet out of here. Check this out. Have a look. Fantastic. There's a shed. Just thought I'd give the live a go, see what that's like. Beautiful, it's about 20 something degrees. Yep, yeah, 27. Yeah, tomorrow's supposed to be 30, 30, 31. So the breeze is just sort of half picked up just now. Can you hear me all right? I'm using my phone and it's on a tree stump. I'm un underneath a fig tree. Hey, how good's that? I just got it resting on the stump to try different angles, different aspects. Buffering. Anyway, I just thought I'd give a live on the phone using 4G a go. Hi, g'day, Belinda. Trying to wire up a switchboard. Gee, clear and great picture. Awesome. Can you see me or is it a bit dark? Could go a bit further this way. Oh no, the stump's in front. Bloody tree trunks. Got the shed there. Hear those cows? Bloody cows, mate. Yay. They've just been carving. You'll probably see some down here. There's some cows down there. Bit dark. Well, I can try and move it again. Lords, there's the old farmhouse where I'm staying at the moment. Black jelly beans. Well, tell you what, there's a few. Let's take a look. Well, I like this one. Don't know what that is. There's a few around, though. God, I love being on the farm. So awesome. So much better than being in a city. So much better. Redneck country. Yeehaw. Yeah, actually, we're planning on... My friend here, he's got a, um, a clay pigeon launcher so we we're gonna do some shooting shoot some clay pigeons how good would that be oh my god i can't wait probably tomorrow we'll do that g'day from detroit michigan there's that quality fluoride water Get on you. don't we on that fence yeah uh, can we on the bottom three rungs of that fence Safely. I'm down at Casino, that's right. Down at Casino, not the Casino, it's a, it's a town called Casino. An action camera on the hat. Well, I've got my other camera. Just thought I'd come down, see if this like worked and everything. Seems to be working, doesn't it? 
you, somebody said there's a bit of buffering, but ah, well, what do you do? I mean, like the middle of nowhere using 4G. Second beef capital, capital of Australia. Yeah, mate, we had some prime ribeye last night. My mate brought the whole ribeye. It's like this long off the back of the bull or the cow. Whew, just melts on your tongue. It's beautiful down here, mate. Look at that. We're in California. The farm vlog. Yep. What are you doing? Farming. As soon as you get down here, your voice like slows right down. Like we've been doing some ex excavating as well and all the guys here, they're like, yep, yep, roger that. <laughs> I got my mate over here, I'm sitting on the veranda of the house with his tinder. <laughs> Tindering from the farm. Not the guy who lives here, that's Greg, he was in today's video. Did you watch today's uh, video on Greg's kitchen? Here's the one with the beard. Righty-o, mate, I can hear ya. I should go over there, eh? Take a look at that cow. The only problem is... Oh, <laughs> this... <laughs> Don't you bring that weapon over here, mate. God, he's got a slingshot. A ball-bearing one. <laughs> How come I ignore the Bernice comment? Well, what comment is it? I didn't speak to her last night, actually. I spoke to her uh, the night before and the night before that. Hey! That went right over my head. Jesus. He's flicking slingshots at me. Hey, cut it out. He went through the leaves at least. Did you hear it? <laughs> okay, have another shot. <laughs> I'll be behind him. Oh. <laughs> no, don't go low. Bloody hell. No, nah, that's all right. <laughs> a magpie? No, that's a pellet from the slingshot. Shoots ball bearings. God. Jeez, mate. What are you doing, sunshine? Trying to take my eye out? Oh, that's life on the farm, though, mate. It's full of dangers, normally from other people. G'day, Tracy. Yeah, how's it going? Just down here on the farm. Getting bugs on me. I don't know what that one is. A flying something. Well, it has, hasn't rained here for... Well, that grass is all right. It's over here. That's got the nice stuff. That's all... That's um, barley. And over a bit further yonder, as we say here on the farm, uh, that's wheat. But it was a failed crop because they didn't get any rain. Uh, so he'll just turn that into cow food. He's got about a hundred head of cattle here, so that'll all be cow food now, which is good. Oh, there's heaps of feed up here in the shed. Down in that corner, there's heaps of, heaps of hay there as well. Mosquitoes. Uh, no, I haven't seen a mosquito yet. There's not even any flies, which is good. I think it's not hot enough yet. Soon, though, it'll be turning into summer. So it'll get uh, a bit hotter. I'm in northern New South Wales, out west, in a town called Casino. 
probably about no, 50 k's inland I guess but it's all farming area heaps of beef cattle um, there's an ant crawling over um, yeah lots of farmers around here I think we're on 1200 acres here near Nimbin yep out west <laughs> not not really too far out west it's in a good Usually it's in a pretty good area where there um, uh, gets quite a bit of rain, so that's all right. Am I here to film for my channel? Oh, I'm just staying at a friend's place. Actually, I might be coming down here to work next week. Did you see that ant just crawl right in front? Uh, yeah, my uh, 12 hour days, he said. Oh, I'll give you a job, Greg. It's 12 hours a day. I said, so is that one day on and six days off? <laughs> nah, mate. That's like, that's like you work 12 hours a day straight for a month. I'm like, oh, jeez. Don't know how I'll cope with that, but, you know, there'll be some sort of money, at least some sort of income. Any four-wheelers? Um... Yeah, well, there's, there's a big, like, slasher in the shed there. Uh, hey, Jay! Jay! What was that big thing I was driving yesterday? The big four-wheel drive. What's that called? A Unimog. Yeah, I was driving this Unimog yesterday. <laughs> it's like ex-army. So he's got all the tractors here, mate. He's got... Big, heaps of John Deere tractors. And, um, yeah, the Unimog. That was, that's a big sit up high, uh, like a real big truck. So I spent some time in that yesterday, so it was a bit of fun. Rightio, mate. Jeez, I love it on the farm. It's just so nice, you know, just to get away from like neighbours and. Just get away from, you know, life. Like out here last night, we had the, you turn all the lights off, it's just pitch black dark. and It's just beautiful. He's only got a couple of bulls. Don't know where they are, but they're just for breeding. But all the cows here have just calved, so there's lots of little calves running around. Here's a couple here. The only problem with cows is if you even start walking near them, they start running. But they are very protective of their young, uh, their young uh, calves. So this one hasn't run yet, which is pretty good. It's got a bit of an electric fence. Is it electric? Oh no, no. This one's not. G'day fellas. How's it going? Ah, the serenity. There's a fig tree. Look at all the figs on it. Would have seen all the bats. That's what all the n was last night with the bats. Beef. Yeah, mate, we get the best beef down here. Cool. Mate, the best. You'll see it on my vlog. I've been filming, but the internet down here is not too good. So, Well, I haven't had time to like shove it in my computer and edit it. I might just make one big, long video and shove it up there on Monday or something or Sunday night when I get home. A uh, dozen dead cattle, eh? Actually, we've got to go and shoot a cattle. We've got to go and shoot a cow later tonight, which is a bit of a shame. Because um, it's birthing season, some of them, like this one cow, uh, had twins. The first one they pulled out was dead. The other one they pulled out was a bit shabby, but the mother just hasn't got up now for like uh, two days. So the neighbour, he came around and asked him, if Glenn, if he could come and shoot his cow for him, which is a bit of a shame. I don't think I'll go and watch that. 
How's the internet? Is it all right? Are you are you seeing the feed okay? Let me know down below. I wonder how much like uh, delay there is. You know, and the picture's all good. It's the first time I've done it, so I'll be using up my. Don't know how much imp, how much info uh, that it would use, but you never know. Perfect quality is good. That's good. Yeah, just on the 4G, that's the way to go. I probably need to get a few more gigabytes of download or upload. So hopefully I don't get a big phone bill at the end of the month. What a handsome man. I'm fully sponsored by Bradford. But they build pools. Get the guitar out tonight. No, no guitars here. No, it's, what is it? We're actually thinking about going into a pub in the city tonight. Having like a counter meal. And, um, yeah, then back here for a couple of Asahis later on. <laughs> well, I'm just down here at the moment. Um, I'm down, my friend who was in today's, um, food review, the one with the beard. Uh, him and I have been friends for nearly 50 years, so uh, we're down here on one of our other friend's farms, because uh, Greg's from America, he lives over there now, and uh, so we're, we're just doing all the catch-up with friends for him while he's out, he's only out here for another week, and then um, he's gone. So we're just doing a catch-up, and so we come down the farm here, and I might be coming down here uh, next week to work, to do some work. So that'll be awesome. Long days, though. Long days. 12-hour days every day. Jeez, that'll be tough. I won't be used to that. But uh, it's mainly just driving trucks. And uh, either that or... Uh, working in the factory sort of area, but sitting down like with a pen and paper. So, wouldn't mind doing a bit of both. Uh, Greg lives in Wilmington in North Carolina, so apparently the the um, hurricane was supposed to go right over his house. <laughs> Poor bastard. So he's sitting out here, just like, ah, oh, damn, I wish I was at home. You know, making sure the house is okay, but I think that hurricane's been downgraded now, so it should be all right. We'll see. But he's keeping his eye on the radar and everything, making sure that, you know, everything's all right. Yeah, you get used to the 12 hours. I think it's just the waking up at sort of 4.30 or something, starting at 5 and working till 5. At least you'll be tired and then you'll get home, just probably have a lager and then it'll be um, to bed, early to bed. Then, so I don't know if I'll be able, unless I can just sit in the tractor and put the, put the, um, <laughs> put the phone out like I am now. Yeah, I might be able to do that. At least I can do some, so make some sort of videos because otherwise I won't be able to make any videos. Watch them from the Philippines. G'day. Yeah, some hard yak. I'll get used to it. Well, we've already been out today. They're building, a, putting a pipe in and for some ar irrigation. And Mind you, we were up at 7.30, so it wasn't really an early start. But, hey, it's all good fun. 12 hours a day on a drilling rig. Hey, you must be raking it in. That'd be fun. Wouldn't mind doing that. Is that an ocean rig? Or just one uh, land rig? Yep. I better go and check my data. I'll check it after this, see how much it used uh, for this little video. So, and then we'll see. We've got David from Toronto. How many acres? Uh, this one here. No, it might be 500, but he's got another one over the road that's about another 500, and he's 
He's got um, another one about 200. So all up, 1,200 acres. So that's quite a lot of land, isn't it? So it's nice out here. That's what I was saying to him. I said, I said oh, mate, I'd love just to find a, just a, even an acre out here somewhere. No neighbours. So even if you're on an acre, you'd be still, you know, half a kilometre from your next neighbour and just grow vegetables. Oh, mate. I'll have to look into that. The buffalo chips. <laughs> living the dream, yeah, well, I'll tell you what, come about 4.30, 5 o'clock, we'll be living the dream. We're going to go in and buy some... Um, we're shooting clays. We're going to go and get some clays because tomorrow we're doing some shooting. Mm -mm. Can't wait. So excited. Should be so much fun. Really looking forward to it. Anyway, just thought I'd stop in and say good day. Ski, ski shooting. Yeah, we're doing some of that. He's got the ski shooting machine over here. Oh, that must be the tinny. How good is this? On my phone, just walking around. On the farm. Beautiful day too, look at that. Here's one of his tractors. Got some hay here. For the cows. Mmm, that smell. So nice. Oh, this is nice, mate. So relaxing. Just so relaxing. Forklift. Yeah, warming up. It's about 27 degrees today, or 28. And then tomorrow's supposed to be 31. And then it drops down again. So it's sort of in between. It's in between weather at the moment. Tonka trucks. Oh, I used to have one like that. Beauty. What else they got? There's the old tinny. We're supposed to be going out on the, that. There's a river down the back, actually. Here's the old ski shooter. It's just battery operated. So we'll be whipping that out tomorrow. Doing some ski shooting. How good will that be? I am seriously so excited about it. Absolutely so excited. Getting to shoot a 12 gauge. About 10 degrees. It was cold this morning. It was cold last night. We were, I just had a big blanket over me. So the nights are still cold. Have a look down here. So there's a river down there. Might do a bit of fishing, it's full of turtles. Oops, and carp, I think, unfortunately. Can you hear the birds? Anyway, that's life on the farm. So I'd stop in, say good day. And yep, 
I'm living the dream. <laughs> anyway, I might shuffle off. Maybe uh, relax or something. It's a bit stressful walking around here. Seventeen degrees. Look at these roses. Oh, that's a nice one down here. Oh, <gasps> geez, the thorns. Oh, that's a beauty. Mmm, lovely. Anyway. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon, huh? Catch you then. I'm off, over and out. <laughs>